Hey. The topic I am going to discuss is sample size determination. Sample. A sample is like a small portion of a bigger group that is taken to study and learn about the whole group. The results obtained from studying the sample are then used to make conclusions about the whole group. Sampling methods. Sampling is a process used in research to select a smaller group from a larger population for the purpose of making inferences about the larger group. The goal of sampling is to get a representative sample. Meaning. The selected individuals accurately reflect the characteristics of the larger population. Types of sampling methods. Simple random sampling. A simple random sampling is one, where individuals are selected randomly and each person in the population has an equal chance of being selected. Stratified sampling. This method divides the population into subgroups or strata based on certain characteristics, and then selects individuals from each stratum, to ensure representation of each group in the sample. Cluster sampling. Cluster sampling is a way of selecting a sample by first dividing the larger population into smaller groups or clusters, and then selecting a few of these clusters to represent the whole population. All individuals within the selected clusters become part of the sample. Systematic sampling. In systematic sampling, individuals are selected from a list at a fixed interval. Such as every fifth person. Convenience sampling. This method selects individuals who are easily accessible or willing to participate in the study, rather than using a random selection process. Quota sampling. Quota sampling is a way of selecting a sample by setting specific proportions or numbers of individuals to be included in the sample based on certain characteristics, such as age, gender, or ethnicity. This ensures that the sample reflects the overall makeup of the population in terms of these characteristics. Sample size determination. Sample size determination is the process of determining the number of participants or observations needed for a study to have sufficient statistical power. There are several factors that influence sample size determination, including population size. The larger the population size, the larger the sample size that is typically required. Available resources, time, money, personnel. The availability of resources such as time, money, and personnel can impact the sample size. If resources are limited, a smaller sample size may be used. Level of precision. The desired level of precision in the results will affect the sample size needed. Larger sample size is needed for high level of precision. Effect size. It is a way to measure how big the difference is between two groups being studied. It tells us how much the groups differ from each other. It represents the difference in means between two groups. For example, a study to see if a new medicine works better than an old medicine. The effect size would show us how much better the new medicine is compared to the old one. If the effect size is large, it means the new medicine is a lot better, and need only few people to see the difference. But if the effect size is small, it means the new medicine is only slightly better, and we would need more people in the study to see the difference. Variability in the population. It refers to the degree of spread or dispersion of values within a population. It is a measure of how much the individual values in a population differ from one another and from the mean or average value. In statistical terms, variability can be expressed by various measures, such as the standard deviation or variance. The larger the variability in a population, the more spread out the values are and the less predictable they become. So, a population with higher variability will require a larger sample size and a population with lower variability can be more easily characterized using a smaller sample size. Confidence level. The confidence level is the level of certainty that the results of a study accurately reflect the population. It is often expressed as a percentage such as 95% or 99%, and indicates the probability that the results of a study are within a certain range of the true population value. For example, if a study has a 95% confidence level, this means that if the study were repeated many times, 
95% of the time the results would fall within the range of the true population value. A higher confidence level requires a larger sample size. Margin of error, or confidence interval. The margin of error is the amount of error that is acceptable in the results of a study. For example, if a study has a margin of error of plus or minus 3%, this means that if the study were repeated many times, approximately 95%, for a confidence level of 95%, of the results would fall within 3% of the true population value. A smaller margin of error requires a larger sample size. Sample size can be determined using formula-based methods or through power analysis, which takes into account the variables mentioned above and calculates the necessary sample size to achieve the desired level of precision and confidence in the results. Statistical formulas Statistical formulas are mathematical equations used to estimate the number of subjects or observations needed in a sample to achieve a desired level of precision and accuracy in the results. Formula for infinite population n is equal to z square into p into 1 minus p by e square or n is equal to z square into sigma square by e square this formula is used when standard deviation is known n is the sample size z is the z score corresponding to the desired level of confidence p is the population proportion sigma is the population standard deviation E is the desired width of the confidence interval or margin of error. Then, formula for finite population, when population size is known. The formula shown here is used when the population size is known. First we have to calculate the sample size for infinite population. And then we can use this formula to determine the required sample for the known population size. Nf is the required sample from finite population n is the sample size of infinite population capital n is the known population size in my next video i will solve some examples using these formulas so don't forget to watch my next video thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give us a like subscribe for more videos and also share with all your pharma mates thank you